Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from www.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 39 of e-commerce website development in PHP with video. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully get the net total of the all the products available in the car and we also get the subtotal of the particular car, uh, product which have uh, different different quantities. So in this tutorial we are working on this delete button when user want to delete uh, this product or this product he can also delete directly from here so let's get start so first of all we need to get the li uh, this link and find it so going to our function.php and there we are going to find the function like uh, card display here it is and yeah just look at here we have here a delete button so here uh, we are going to create one uh, link like delete delete dot php question mark then here we are going to echo First of all, we need to create a get like uh, delete id equal to. Uh, we are going to target our product id which is available into our database. So simply pro id. Okay. So let's get a refresh and take our look. Okay, so just look at here when I hover on the delete uh, button, just look at here in the, this uh, left bottom corner. So just look at there, yeah, delete id equal to 2, then delete id equal to 4, okay. So, now we need to create a one page like delete.php, okay. So control n, php, then remove this all, create a php tag and inside that php tag first of all include a database connection like inc slash db dot p oh yeah sorry we doesn't need to display here uh attach here db dot php just attach here function dot php and save it like uh, uh, online store and then here delete.php save it okay and echo one function like echo uh, delete card items okay we will create that uh, this function so just copy coming to the function.php so here we are going to get the card display yeah here here we are creating one function function delete card item then uh, we are going to get the variable like uh, yeah this variable delete id just because that variable contain our product id so we are going to get that variable directly from here like if he said dollar underscore get which get or get name is delete id okay then when someone press on this uh, delete button then what happens so first of all we need to get the one variable for product id which will be creating uh, which will be used into our query so we need to again dollar get delete id just because we need that into our query that variable so now we are going to create a query like delete card uh, not a card delete pro simply then con then prepare statement 
then inside that prepare statement we are going to get the query like delete from product but where pro id equal to this dollar pro id which contain our get delete id so we directly get that from here now we are going to get the if condition not like that if dollar delete pro executed then what happened so simply oh not like that then simply we are going to echo one condition like script script then inside script we are going to create a alert message like product deleted successfully okay then we need to refresh the page so for that we are simply going to get the echo then double quotes single quotes then script again script then mm, yeah something like uh, window dot open yeah window dot open function we all know what this this function can do so self and then the path is uh, let's get to copy yeah card dot php directly so card dot php okay so now uh, i think all are perfect we need to check our code first of all check the table name products yeah here it is the table name is products and we assign it here like product so uh, it will be not work so now i think now this will work uh, perfectly delete yeah all from product yeah we need to read this asterisk sign just because we need to delete the whole column which contain this id so now i think all are perfect now we need to get the one refresh and when i click on this delete okay so function line number 94 undefined variable dollar coin yeah just because it doesn't include any connection so for that reason it uh, give me the error like dp.php now let's get back going to cart now when i click on delete yeah something wrong our page will not be redirected so let me check uh, let's remove this asterisk sign and again let's check what happened yeah come back here when i press on this one yeah yeah just look at this now product deleted successfully when i click on ok then it will be coming to the cart yeah but what happened with the cart why this is not deleted something we make a wrong let's get to back here execute okay then let's try to make a condition like that so let's click on it again when i click on delete delete product successfully okay not working so what happened let me check i think all are perfect it's give me the error like that i don't know why let me check let's check database going to the card page okay the card will be not deleted 
delete from products where pro id equal oh yeah 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 we make a mistake here just we make a big mistake here just because our product uh, our table name is cart we need to delete from the cart so we use here products so how can this delete it yeah what a big mistake i make sorry for that so now let's again delete this one delete successfully okay what happened man let's try to delete from here okay then refresh it from here okay so it will be work perfectly fine so let's trying to add yeah that product is deleted from here yeah just because we get the product id and we delete it oh what a misunderstanding deleted yeah so two product oh yeah this product already i have so when i click on it so now again i'm going to try to delete this product product deleted successfully okay just look at this now i think all are now perfect okay guys all will be perfect so when i again click on this one delete delete product successfully okay so no product from here but uh, when we have a no product then it will be simply going to the message like keep shopping so we can't display like that so how can we do that we are going to simply on the card display function here it is and Uh, we need to count the rows like get count uh, get card item then row count Yeah, this function we will make this function and we make up one variable like uh, card empty okay equal to this one so we are going to get the condition here like going to the here and we make a condition like if dollar okay not from here just coming here mm, function dot php and make a one condition if dollar cart empty double equal to zero which means no product found in this category uh, in this query so this uh, what we are going to display so we simply going to echo um, no in h2 h2 no product display oh sorry no product found in cart so let's get to display this yeah no product found this uh, no product found in cart and in else condition this whole code are run which is closing from here yeah okay Okay, so we also need to remove this one so how can we remove that simply going to source code and copy this table from here by control X and paste that function into our card display function here here it is so we are going to echo that function here oh sorry that html text here remove this double code to single code single code single single okay so now okay just look at this now now we make into the center this tag so into the center tag 
center take close from here again coming to here and refresh no product found in cart okay and um, yeah we need uh, i think we need to close that from uh, not from here yeah yeah not from here simply um, yeah here we make a one condition like uh, oh sorry one link like a href equal to uh, index dot php then a take close then continue shopping okay so let's try to execute this code okay so look at this now no product found in cart continue shopping when i click on this so we are going to redirect into the, our home page so let's get to uh, again click on here one product added two product added so look at this now now all are perfect and all are working very fine when i click on delete product deleted successfully delete deleted successfully then that for message will comes on no product found in cart continue shopping so i think guys this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question any question then comment below i will give the answer in 20 next 24 hour so for the next tutorial keep watching this tutorial uh, very carefully and uh, make a practice of your codes just because practice makes men perfect so guys thanks a lot for watching see you in next tutorial goodbye guys